In this video, we'd like to explain how we can save energy in centrifugal pumps using variable frequency drives. The affinity laws for centrifugal pumps tell us that if we have an impeller that is a constant diameter, first of all, the flow is proportional to the shaft speed. The pressure or head is proportional to the square of the shaft speed. And the horsepower or power is proportional to the cube of the shaft speed. So if we look at horsepower versus RPM and flow, we know that horsepower is actually, the horsepower required is the product of flow times the PSI in the system. Now flow, as we said, is directly proportional to the pump impeller RPM and the pressure or PSI varies as the square of the RPM increase. So to express horsepower in terms of flow and PSI we can say well let's let X e equal flow. If that's the case then we can express PSI as X squared and as we said at the top of our formula then horsepower is actually flow X times PSI or X squared or the product equals x cubed. So we would be fair in saying that as we increase the RPM of the speed, the load or horsepower increases by the cube of that increase. Conversely, if we reduce the flow or RPM of our system, then the horsepower or load decreases as the cubed root of that speed decrease. Now, how does that work in a practical application? Well, this is telling us what the percentages would be. The blue line shows we have a linear rate of flow from 0 to 100 percent. And, of course, our red line indicates the squared function of pressure produced at the various RPMs on the x-axis expressed in percentages. And the motor horsepower <coughs> is shown as a percentage of the full load. So at 10% reduction from 100% of RPM or flow, the horsepower required in that system would be 73% of the maximum horsepower. Or if we could back this down to 80%, we would have 51% of the horsepower required in our system. Now looking at actual horsepowers, let's say we had a 100 horsepower motor and pump system and uh, of course we're running at full flow or full RPM 100 percent then we would require 100 horsepower but if we were to back that flow down to 90 percent then we would require only 73 horsepower from that motor and if we can take it down another 20 percent down to 80 percent flow or RPM we reduce this by a whopping 49 percent, so we only require 51 horsepower at that point. So this is the way energy can be saved in a system. Well, how much energy can you save in your system? Well, there's an easy way to estimate it, and that's using ABB's Pump Save program. Uh, this program can be downloaded from the technicon.iec.com website. Look under the Technical and Engineering Data tab and download the program, punch in your own values, and see for yourself how much energy you can save. I'll be doing another video showing you how to use that program.